Okay, I want to throw some thoughts out there on the whole concept of rape pregnancies. Now, the fact is, when you talk about abortion, instantly people go to rape pregnancy. Instantly. It's over 50% of the discussion, and 1% or less of abortions are caused by rape. Okay, over 50% of the discussion is about rape pregnancies. Now, I really think that we ought to talk more about, again, the average sort of case, which is not a rape pregnancy. But anyway, I have also read that contrary to what people tend to assume, rape victims are less likely to get abortions than um, women who have not, who have unplanned pregnancies who have not been raped. Now, that seems kind of counterintuitive. But really think about it. She's just been through one very traumatic, violent experience. And abortion might seem like a second violent and traumatic experience. Having a baby could be seen as a way of getting something good out of something horrible. Okay, and whether she places for adoption or, or raises the child, you know, it could be seen as a way to kind of redeem the suffering. Okay, now, I've also seen um, on YouTube uh, three cases about women who became mothers through rape, and now they're having a problem because the rapist wants visitation with the child. Okay, now it seems kind of obvious, or actually, I used to think that maybe that was a good idea, that it might, the relationship with the child might tend to reform the rapist. But the fact is that um, however much they might love the child, who is their child, rape victims generally don't want to, to be, um, to have a continued relationship with the rapist. There's also the concern that if he's capable of rape, Maybe he's capable of abusing his daughter if it was a female child or even his son if it was a male child. And if it's, if it's a daughter, I think you're concerned about possible child molestation. And if it's a son, you're concerned about uh, whether or not this guy is a good, is a good role model. But anyway, um, there are efforts to make sure that rapists' um, parental rights are automatically terminated. And some of those are being done by the very people who are also trying to make abortion and rape cases illegal. Uh, Rebecca Kiesling was conceived in rape. She tries to work against the rape exception, but she also tries to help um, mothers through rape and not having to share custody or share visitation with um, the rapist's father. And um, so also you can't say that um, people who want abortion outlawed necessarily don't care about rape victims when they are working to terminate the parental rights of uh, rapists who sire children through their crimes. Hope you like hearing that. Bye.